we are back in Detroit, Michigan in Woodlawn Cemetery, which lies between Seven Mile and Eight Mile Road. The cemetery dates back to 1895 and is the final resting place of several notable people from the Detroit area. Today's visit is no exception. Motown. It's a sound so iconic that it has almost become its own genre. And in that spirit, we visit the final resting place of an early Motown performer. We are here today to visit the final resting place of a man who was named one of the 100 greatest singers of all time by Rolling Stone magazine, David Ruffin. Born January 18, 1941, David Ruffin was born in Mississippi. He was the son of a Baptist minister. Sadly, it was said that he didn't have an easy upbringing with a strict and sometimes abusive father. His mother passed when he was young and his father remarried. It was during this time that he developed a love for music, performing in a family gospel group. Ruffin would start turning his music towards secular music, which would see him make it to Detroit. He began recording early and his life would change when he met Barry Gordy Jr. Ruffin would start trying to ascend in his musical career the same time as another singer, Marvin Gaye. Ruffin would meet another group trying to ascend in the music world, The Temptations, and in 1964, he became a member of the group. Although Ruffin was used sporadically and mostly in the background, Smokey Robinson knew in his mind if he could write a song specifically for Ruffin, it would be a hit. Have you all ever heard of the song, My Girl? That's how it was born. It became the group's first number one, and now the hits kept coming. The Temptations would see unprecedented success. Unfortunately, as happens sometimes, substance abuse would lead to Ruffin's undoing. He became addicted and his absences started affecting the group in a very negative way. He would part ways with the group and record solo albums and yes, he would have success in doing so. I'm not going to tear down his personal life. If you want more details, they're out there. And unfortunately, it was his addictions that led to his death. On June 1st, 1991, he would pass away from an overdose. At his funeral service, members of The Temptations, Stevie Wonder and Aretha Franklin would sing. And now we are here at Woodlawn Cemetery, remembering one of the greatest voices of all time, David Ruffin. I really enjoy coming to Woodlawn Cemetery in Detroit, Michigan. Just so much local flavor and so many final resting places of those who made an impact here. I know I have visited the grave here and this is on my channel as well as other videos from this cemetery. Aretha Franklin is just one of those that I was able to visit and it was an honor to visit her grave as well. Such a beautiful place and a beautiful location. I love coming to Woodlawn Cemetery in Detroit, Michigan. I actually have several videos still filmed from this location that will be on the way, so I hope you all will watch those. As far as the visit, the weather was beautiful. It was a really good time to be there. I really enjoyed taking my time going through visiting some of the final resting places, and even beyond that, the history in this place, the architecture, the beauty, it is all there. And if you ever get the chance, to go to Detroit, Michigan. If you are a history lover, a cemetery lover, if you like doing those types of things, there is no doubt I would absolutely recommend visiting Woodlawn Cemetery in Detroit, Michigan. And one thing you may not realize, and I know I said it at the beginning of the video, this cemetery dates back to 1895. So you are looking at some serious age on the cemetery, a beautiful place, beautiful place to visit. David Ruffin's life, full of ups and downs, I guess. We all have those ups and downs. It just seems like that his were perhaps more extreme than most. Extreme ups, extreme downs. I could focus on the extreme downs, but uh, you all can look into that. You can read more about, more about his life if, uh, if you want to. But a wonderful voice and a lot of success. So, David Ruffin, we are here to pay our respects to you. 
Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and join me for future cemetery visits. I do mostly cemetery videos. Occasionally I'll throw a history video in there or a history location, but mostly cemetery visits. So uh, famous graves, historic graves, historic cemeteries, historic places. If you love that, I would love to have you join our little Whit Docs family here. I've said in my one of my last videos, I'm just a small channel in a small corner of YouTube, but I do my best to make a welcoming environment for everyone. Thank you all for watching. Please click subscribe and join me for my future journeys. Links to my website and Patreon will be in the description. Another video of mine will be on the screen soon. It is my hopes that you will watch it. And once again, from Woodlawn Cemetery in Detroit, Michigan, I will see you again soon.